The head honchos of the University of the West Indies gathered at the newest landed campus, Five Islands in Antigua, for the final day of a major two-day retreat. I have brought my four other principals uh, from Mona, St. Augustine, Cave Hill and the Open Campus here to Five Islands uh, to sit with, uh, with Principal Williams so that we can begin some planning for the future, not only of uh, Five Islands, but for the whole enterprise. Another reason for the meeting? To congratulate <laughs> yes. uh, the principal of Five Islands campus on his magnificent stewardship and also to thank the government uh, for their significant investment uh, in this enterprise and providing a vision uh, uh, for the campus going forward, not only here in Antigua but also, also in the OECS and in the, in the wider Caribbean. Uh, the Five Islands campus has embedded itself very nicely, very innovatively within the UE family of campuses. The University of the West Indies is now ranked in the top 1.5% of the world's elite universities. The two-day retreat centered on leveraging the strength of that brand to boost its financial standing. We have spent two days on methods and techniques and strategies and, and systems to launch UE global to generate the financial resources to sustain the institution. And this is an exciting time. I can tell you, it is the first time in the university's history that the principals of all of the campuses and the vice chancellor have ever met to discuss exclusively how to make money for the university. The institution's Latin motto is Orient's ex Occidente Lux, a light rising from the West. The aim now is to make that a global spotlight. Professor Beckles explains how the Five Islands campus in Antigua is pivotal to that push. We are going to be looking at this campus as the place where many of these niche initiatives in higher education that are not going to be high cost to implement, that do not require massive lecture theatres and massive classrooms, but technology classrooms, laboratories, to get this kind of teaching and learning done. So that is the vision here. And it's a vision not only for the OECS, it's a vision for the UWI with our youngest campus coming on stream at the right time in history to provide some leadership in its own right. A major agreement is set to be signed later this month with another prestigious university, Harvard. Garfield Burford, ABS News.